sometimes you can be getting, you know, 100 views for a video, but that can be translating into thousands of dollars. My Shopify videos, in total, maybe they got like 15,000 views. And it already yeah. made me 6K, I think. Oof. That's a lot. Are you a machine? And it's not that expensive, like $6 per video. But $6 I, 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 for editing? Yeah. <laughs> oh my God, I paid 10? Oh my God, I hate finding these freelancers. You're missing out on basically free money. Everybody's behind the doors, you know, making all these fancy videos and this and that. Oh, look at me, I'm making money. We ain't pretending shit. <laughs> Mr. Horsecock. Oh, great intro. Welcome to the show. <laughs> you, you as well. Welcome. Cheers to you? that. Oh, very good. How are you? I'm just about getting a sip. Yes. Good. Uh, yeah, not so much changed like we talked yesterday. But yeah, good no stuff. Way. Things are going uh, going nicely. CPM, RPM a little bit lower. Uh, beginning of April. That sucks a little bit. Okay. Which same? quarter is this? It's quarter uh, second quarter. Did it start in March second quarter? Wait, I, I, no, this month they, started. They, it started this month. Okay, Q four started in April, right? Yeah, so could, yeah, could I don't Q, know. Q two started, but it dropped for me a little bit, like not not crazy, like ten percent. So uh, I think for me, I'm up actually on my RPM. Let me check RPM. Uh, total. Yeah, mine went up. It's my channel got <laughs> fixed again on the fourth of April. That's really nice. My, so what's our RPM now? Well, before that, my RPM was from anywhere from like four to five. Now my RPM jumped to around seven. Nice. So we're, we're the, there straight into the technical stuff. <laughs> RPMs. If you're a new listener, you don't know anything about YouTube. RPM yeah. is the how much money you earn per thousand views on that. That's right. On YouTube. So uh, we basically wanna, talk about yeah. we basically talk about making money on YouTube on the internet, you know, hustling our way through the uh the internet. That's what we do. Exactly. So uh yeah, for me so far, yeah, but last month was good. I already talked about it in the last episode. This month I think it will be around the same. I don't think it will increase considering the lower RPM I have right now. So uh yeah. So but but uh, affiliates are going nicely. A Shopify affiliate for this month, I'm sitting at five hundred and thirty dollars already. Um, so that's pretty sweet. So I think maybe this month, one one k, one point two k for Shopify only, and mm -hmm. I hope to uh, get maybe some sp a sponsor deal in uh, to to uh, to ramp it up. Just like Oliver, our community member who got who secured a three hundred dollars uh, sponsor deal as well. I dude, we were talking about that yesterday on the coaching call. That's fantastic. Yeah, yeah. yeah so uh, basically, Oliver, one of our students in the in the community, uh, got reached out by a company. And uh, he uh, the the company wants him to uh, to make one video first, but if the video is good, then maybe there's some uh, some partnership there that they, they want like monthly uh, videos. I think it was about a certain tool. Like we're not gonna reveal the tool, but like he told it in a co in a coaching call. But basically, they need more kind of tutorial videos about their tool. So uh, Oliver will invest in his video, and he will make the best first impression possible to eventually have like a long term partnership for like one, two videos per month, which can lead to like 300 to up $600 each month recurring revenue just for one or two videos. So if that goes through, that's, that's crazy because with that amount of money, he will have his video production costs covered and he can basically scale his, uh, his channels uh, like without any investment on his side, which is crazy. Not bad for Oliver. No, no. So, uh, he, I, I asked him yesterday, I was like, how much profit are you making off this brand deal? He was like, yeah, about 230 bucks of one video, which is like, yeah. okay, not bad. Yeah, but it's possible. Like I had the same with Samurai, $600, $60 costs because like, I, I don't need a good impression because uh, Samurai didn't want a long-term relationship for me at, at the mm -hmm. time. So I was just like, yeah, then I'm going <laughs> to spend a little less on the videos because it's a one-time deal. And in yeah. the end, they were still very happy, by the way. So, uh, like, I have a pretty lean team that can uh, make videos pretty cheap. So, I delivered I delivered videos to um, that brand deal that we both secured recently, the five hundred dollar one. Yeah. They were like, "This is great! <laughs> Thank you That's so awesome. much." That's awesome. It took me like I don't know 30, 40 minutes to make those videos myself. Did you deliver everything at once? Because they asked me to to publish them once a week. 
Got it. Same. I scheduled it in. Yes. Uh, Second okay. one is dropping tomorrow, and then the next, the third one is dropping in one week. Yeah. So that's basically also how it goes. Like when you're on YouTube, you you can have people reach out to you. Like if you don't have your business email in your description, in your video description, or in your channel, like you're missing out on basically free money. Because if you're already making videos, uh, and a company want the same style of videos, like at least give them the opportunity to reach out. Like maybe in the description, you can also just literally say like for business inquiries, inquiries. How do you say it? Inquiries. Yeah. Reach out to this email, and uh, it's been working out for uh, for us, but also uh, for our yeah. members. So that's uh, that's easy money. One of my biggest takeaways recently is you know. People associate YouTube with, uh, we've talked about this before because all these shorts kind of start cycling in my head. But anyway, a lot of people, when they talk, when they think about making money on YouTube, they're like, you know, the more views I get, the more money I make. But that's yeah. a big misconception that both you and I and other people know is that yes, in, in, in if generally more views equals more money, but it's not like as straightforward because someone can be getting 100,000 views, for example, uh, with an RPM of a dollar, and then someone else can be getting 10,000 views with an RPM of $10. And guess what? They're going to be making the same amount of money. <laughs> yeah, it's the quality of the views, basically. Yeah, exactly. And also, like, for example, you know, this podcast, right? The YouTube Business Academy, we're not monetized. We're not making money from YouTube ad revenue. We're not making, we haven't had a single sponsored deal. But well, we, we ourselves, we are our own sponsor. Exactly. We are our own sponsor, you know, for the people who are listening to this, uh, to this podcast, you know, we have a product uh, or a service, a community that we offer, and then people uh, can apply to, to work with us. So don't think simplistically in terms of like, oh, I need to get views to get money. Sometimes you can be getting, you know, 100 views for a video, but that can be translating into thousands of dollars. So you just need to think smart about it. And to do that, you need to learn you know, how to leverage basically views to make money. Yeah. And I also want to talk a little bit more about what we talked about in a coaching call yesterday with Julio. He shared his results as well. But this may be interesting for the beginners. Like if you're just starting out with YouTube, it can be a very uh, long-term game plan. It's very difficult to, mm. uh, to, to to get results. Like yesterday, I came or two days ago, I came across a tweet. I don't know it out the top of my head, but it was like, I think 88% of the videos published on YouTube won't get past 1,000 views, like the regular videos. Interesting. And there were some other statistics, like maybe uh, 90, something like 95% stays between 1,000 and 10,000 views, like those kind of stats. And yeah. it already shows like how complex YouTube is. But since mm -hmm. we, of course, focus on search traffic, it's a little bit easier, like relatively easier for, for us. But also for the beginners starting out there, like have some patience as, as well for, for getting results. Like for example, one of our students, Julio, he, I think he's in the program now for, or in our community now for uh, four months. Five months. Think, four five or five months. months, yeah. Well, he had a tough start. Like he didn't find the right freelancers. He had the difficulty uploading enough volume of videos. So that's like the typical beginner stuff you come across. But eventually he just kept going and now he upped his volume in terms of video uploads. And now he's doing pretty well in terms of uh, yeah the amount he uploads and he's hitting like $4 days now. And now yeah. videos are starting to compound. And now Julio is also more into the, in the positive vibe for let's go, it's growing. And I finally know what I'm doing <laughs> because I can see the videos that I'm making are, are, are making me money. So he's like now in a, in a positive flywheel, you know? And yeah, here uh, George is sharing a screen. So if you're not on YouTube, uh, Sorry about that, but maybe read it out loud, uh, George. Yeah, so here we have Julio, one of our uh, students, one of our actually first students in the community. This is his fifth update. So we've been working with him, like Ron said, for five months now. You can see that uh, here's the results for one more 28-day cycle. As you can see in the charts, the numbers are growing every month with the earnings in March more than doubling relative to February. Just reached $102 on total earnings with an average RPM of almost 11 bucks. So I'm feeling very satisfied with these results. I'll keep up the pace in order to keep the numbers growing. And then if we open up here, we can see that, yeah, uh, this is the last 28 days. Uh, you can see the views are growing and then the money on the 8th of April, he got his first four and a half dollar day. So that's his all time high for Julio. Uh, congrats, Julio. And yeah, you can see these are, uh, this is when we started working, I think. 
and around yeah, December. And and it's then... crazy because Julio also never never earned money online before, right? Like before he started working with us. Yeah. So he, he's also and, a complete beginner. And that's the difference between like, you know, you and me and others is that we actually show, you know, the real deal. We don't, we don't show some, you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars. Oh, look, uh, you know, a billion students of ours are making hundred thousand dollars. No, like this is straight up real talk. I mean, what we say is what it is, right? You get what you see. First cooperation, Oliver, you know, he received the first oh, cooperation brand deal for 300 a video. If there is also now well and everything fits, the cooperation can also become more long-term, right? Yeah. So I think it's also good to notice, like we, uh, of course, our program is, uh, is ever developing. Like maybe, by the way, you can show the new uh, program layout. What we've done. Oh, yeah, let's do that. Because let's it looks pretty slick. Like, we've been updating some stuff on the behind the scenes, but first, like, uh, not, let, let's go, like, what you were just talking about. Like, we're not bullshitting. Like, we also adjusted a little bit our, our promise, our, our soft promise of our uh, program. Like, yeah. first, we were like, because we were getting results pretty fast in the beginning with search. Like, you were yeah. growing rapidly. Like, you were gro growing to three to 4K in, like, I think four months, five months. Yeah. So when, we started very out, fast. <laughs> so when we started out the community, we were like, hey, we're going to promise people to make 3K a month within six months because mm. that was something we achieved ourselves. But we quickly noticed like when you're first starting out as a beginner, that promise is not, is really difficult. Like you need really yeah. need to be uh, on top of your game to hit that. But if you also have a nine to five and some other stuff, it's really difficult. So we yeah. actually also adjusted our promise to hit 3K a month within 12 to 18 months. Because we also seen it's more realistic and like we are not about the typical guru approach now. Like, oh, you're going to hit 10K within two months because the, the realistic side of YouTube, that's not how it goes. But yeah. if you keep going on the long term, you will be able to eventually hit three to 5K a month. And that's passively because we're yeah. hitting search traffic and we are, we're delegating a lot of stuff. Like that's yeah. the, yeah, I think a more realistic approach we are, we're getting now. And I think it's also fair towards the, the people that want to start out with YouTube. I think it's also our, our like competitive advantage, the fact that, you know, we are showing not some crazy results, but matter, matter of fact, you and I are sharing our own results. And then the people who work with us, with, with us we're, show, we're showing their wins as well, like small ones, because, you know, we've been helping people who've been working with us for only like five months now, right? So we cannot expect anything crazy. We can only see like, you know, big results in like 12 to 18 months with some of our students that we're working with, right? But even now already at these small steps, we're already saying, hey, showing like, look, look at Julio. He just had a four and a half dollar day and the guy went from zero. That's the difference, you guys. That's, you yeah. understand, like you don't go from zero to $10,000 a month in like, you know, a couple of months. No, 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 no. You first go from zero to $1, okay? And then when you make your $1, then you go to 10 and then when you make 10, then you make 100. And then you climb, climb, climb. And then before you know it, you're starting to make thousands of dollars every month. And then if you apply yourself and your discipline, then you can escape the matrix, the, the rat race, and you can fully become an entrepreneur in the online world. Yeah, exactly. And also, it, it also, also comes a little bit with, of luck and, with luck and, of course, like taking the right action. If you take Jan, for example, 37 years old, also never made a single dollar online, but he's already he already had $20 days in like in his fourth month, I think. But also, yeah. we, he found a really good freelancer. He, he can keep up with the, the upload schedule like right away. He's uploading a bunch of videos. So... Like all those things all also matter. Like it's a bit of luck here, and but also taking the right steps. But yeah. if you're looking like if we're going to fa fast forward Julio's progress one year from now, Jan's progress one year from now, they will sit at a couple thousand dollars a month minimum if they keep going this way. And they will keep going because we will make sure that they, their asses keep going. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, do you it's want enough. to share, share the class yeah. room? Uh, yeah. Yes. Hey, quick pause on the podcast. If you're ready to take action and learn how to make money on YouTube, make sure to check out our private YouTube Business Academy community. The link is down in the description. All right, back to the episode. Yes. So let me actually show you guys the, um, the classroom. So Ron and I, you know, we're working behind the scenes as well. It's not like we just make it and that's it. We want to continue making it better. So yeah. Um, now we have the separation. I think it looks beautiful. Um, uh, we have the YouTube automation course. Okay. So this is more about like, you know, getting your base, right. Getting up, uh, getting your, uh, content creation system in place, right. Your team hiring different Channel, templates, your, your monetization channel, <laughs> really you important. Know, all, 
all of that, right? So this is kind of like the automation part of it, right? And then we have the second course, which is the affiliate marketing part, right? So this is where I show you kind of behind the scenes, right? What affiliates have been working for me, um, how to apply for them, how to talk and how to get the links and, and, and all, how, how to really to research them. as well, views to sales. Yes, how to convert views to sales. And then the third one we have here is the keyword research one, right? So this is a deep dive and we share all the different tools and strategies and we have like... Um, uh, maybe I can show here. We have like a live keyword research by me, and then we have a live keyword research also by Ron, right? And what it's I want to emphasize one hour is, each. Yeah, it's one hour each. And what I want to emphasize as well is that like we are constantly, you know, upgrading this as well. So here we have the mentorship and coaching call. So every week we have a, a coaching call uh, in our community and they get recorded. Shout out, uh, Patricia. <laughs> then we have um, all these coaching calls right here. So this is Oliver, right? And you can see that it's a pretty big community, right? We got Julio, we got Lucas, we got Oliver, Patricio. And every single call gets recorded. And then after, after it, we store it in this library. So yeah, people are also able to go back and rewatch it. Now, uh, Daniel from the U.S. has actually requested, he says he said that he enjoys the podcast, he enjoys the, the book recommendations that we occasionally drop here and there, but he says, I can't keep up with you guys. You guys recommend too many books. You guys are talking about... So he requested if we could take all of our book recommendations. You know, I have a big library here, there, and I love reading. So we're going to be taking that slowly, step by step, and all the books, all the recommendations, everything that we learn and study insights, so we're going to be putting it into this book club right here. So that's going to be super important because as you know, the more you learn, the more you earn. And we got student oh. interviews. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, a lot of cool stuff going on behind the scenes. But... Uh... <laughs> Enough about uh, the community, maybe, but it's just cool to see uh, uh, results from uh, from people starting from scratch. You know, like they had no clue. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What else? How is uh, personal life? What's going on besides business? And yeah, nothing. I'm only working. Are you a machine? Are you a <laughs> no, robot? Like I, I'm. Uh, I'm just working now till like I'm. I'm going in May uh, for the trip, so I'm just not now in the grind. I actually. Uh, Made two videos myself, um, just screen recording. I made a new video about American Express for the credit yeah. card myself uh, because I have a, a new video editor who can edit pretty, uh, yes, like nicely, you know, mm. like editing a tutorial in a very minimalistic way. So when you, for example, have a screen recording, he sometimes zooms in on the thing that's spoken about. And when the my freelancer or I click, you hear like the actual click of the mouse, like very oh, nice, very slick, you know? Yeah. yeah. So he's doing I a saw really good re job. I was gonna comment that it's a really good editing on the tutorial. Yeah. So uh and it's not that expensive, like six dollars per video. Um, so it's pretty solid. But I, six dollars for editing? Yeah. <laughs> That's why you gotta work with me and uh, watch the freelance uh, module in. Oh my <laughs> in the god, course. you guys! Oh my god, I pay ten, and my god. video editing sucks. Yeah, I find a different guy. There are better guys out there. That's the whole thing. You need to find the the needle in the haystack. You know. Oh my god, I hate finding these freelancers. Because uh, it's crazy. I post on Twitter that we needed someone for the podcast, and I got like eight messages, but it's all spam and bullshit. You know. But mm. uh, it's it's How's your Twitter is it growing? Brands. Yeah, uh, it's growing. Like I've been posting now for maybe ten days. Like this this month, I maybe yeah. gained like thirty followers. Like not crazy, Ooh. but I got like the blue check mark right now. And then you will have more visibility. And uh, but I basically need to reply to more people as well because then you'll end up in other people's timeline and that kind of st stuff. So you're slowly uh, yeah. uh, sneaking in. We got a compliment uh, to the, today as well. I posted the results of Julio on Twitter. And yeah. uh, one guy said that we are. Uh, he was very. He was very. Uh, very, very excited for him to see what we're doing with search. So mm. uh, you got a compliment for you as well. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's uh, that's cool stuff. And also, by the way, uh, Gijs, I think his name was in a different community. He was uh, saying that because of the podcast nine months ago, he started his own search channel, and now he's at two k a month, which is pretty crazy. Yeah, I think did he message me? Wait, or is it another guy? Another guy, or maybe he was French, actually. He sent me a DM on Instagram. His name is 
well, I can't pronounce it, Stephen. <laughs> hey, George, the part of today was amazing. Uh, you always give lots of value. Right now, I'm making 2K per month with my search channel in French. More and more interested in exploring the affiliate marketing realm. So that's a different one then, I think. No, that's the one I sent you as well in WhatsApp. Yeah, but, but I mean I the think, one that's that a different I sent. Guy. Yeah, 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 exactly. So we have two yeah. people already... Just from the value from the podcast, they were able to scale, of course, also Let's their own go. work, oh. that kind of stuff. But it's pretty cool to uh, Dude, I'm see. thinking more and more about how, like, our strength just lies in our full-on transparency. You know, everybody's behind the doors, you know, making all these fancy videos and this and that. Oh, look at me. I'm making money. We ain't pretending shit. No, we but we just... are you. We are keeping a little bit for our students as well, because otherwise it's unfair for them, in my opinion. Oh, 100%. But... We are transparent as mop. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> we just talk about everything, bro. We just fucking come here once a week, you know, show our numbers, show our community from the inside out. We don't have to pretend. We don't have to pretend some, to be someone else. We just are ourselves. It feels so good internally because you don't have to live with, you know, some weird feelings that someone's going to expose you or, yeah. or, or, you know, or something like that. And yeah, and then the results just keep getting better for everyone. Yeah, but it's also easier to keep up with that version. Like if you keep making things bigger and bigger, eventually you've made <laughs> so much lies that eventually you're like, oh, what did I say again? Yeah, yeah, but you have a lot of people out there. Yeah, sure. Amazon Associates Influencer Program Creator Rewards Performance Update. Hi, George. Below is a summary of your performance, April. Uh, as of yesterday, April 9, so in nine days, I have achieved $2.8,000 in ship revenue. This sales that includes a small delay, so you can drive sales in the last 24 hours, right? Now, if I... Can I... Oh, for fuck's sake, how can I change this? Oh, my God. Let me, okay, I'm going to stop screen. I will present another screen. Now, I want to take you guys inside of my actual Amazon thing and show you. Because last episode, we were talking about creator rewards that I applied for. So you can see... That now, uh, this month, I have already shipped over $2.6,000. So on top of my rewards, I also get a flat fee of $105. And once it crosses $4,000, that goes up to one sixty. And so far, this month, I'm at 82 bucks on commissions, 26 items uh, ordered, 1,000 clicks, 2.44% on the Amazon affiliates. But this is only Amazon, by the way. And this is like the tiny part of my associate uh, of yeah. my affiliates. Like I got I got some other juicy affiliates uh right here. Wait, can I show them to you somehow? Uh, Meanwhile, while you you show something, I came across yesterday across an affiliate partner. I'm not gonna share this with you, but it was on a partner stack, I think. They okay. have I will share it with the, I will share it in the community. So not with the viewer, because I want to okay. give this value to the community. But they yeah. are like, hey, if you become a partner, which you already will become because of partner stack, you already be able to work with them. And yeah. there was like a, a box like a, where you can insert the URL. They're like, hey, if you make a blog or a video about us, insert the URL here and you will get $100. So you will <laughs> get like $100 if you just make one video about that topic. So I will share this with the community. So let's see if they actually pay out. I'll, I'll make a video about it as well. But it's basically free, at least like free $80 if you minimize, if they deduct like the fee of production yeah. cost. Also, um, yesterday I said during the coaching call that uh, I got $100 from one of the, I'm not going to reveal it, from one of the companies that I'm working with because they simply sent out like a newsletter email saying, hey, we're looking for, you know, 15 people to create a video about our company and you know if you follow this guideline we're gonna just paypal you a hundred bucks and i was like sign me up easy <laughs> easy deal they're like great because i've been already in contact with them you know what I'm, I'm talking about so then just bam they're like all right i send them an outline everything looks good recorded 10 minutes edited the next day i post it send it over they're like great remove the affiliate uh, links of your competitors and we're good to go and send me your paypal email Send him my PayPal email. Cha-ching. $100 hits my bank account. <laughs> yeah. So those are things dinner, that are all nice. Dinner for two. Yeah. yeah. But that's, that's how you can look. And in the end, you still have your base income of like AdSense and affiliate marketing, of course. Yeah. But these are like the nice extras. Because you have the system in place, you can easily just make use of it. Well, I'm going all in on affiliate marketing. I'm going to make that my base. I'm going to... 
I want to scale affiliate marketing to 100k a month, man. That's what I want to do. But uh, I have a question to you. Like you're you're doing basically affiliate marketing still in terms of volume, so a lot of videos. Mm. If you look at Metix Media, he's doing like maybe f- yeah. at his peak like four a month. I thought but about f- that. Yeah. <laughs> like what if you take a week? to make an in-depth tutorial about something more competitive, higher video mm. editing, and there yeah, is, there, reach there, more. There is, a, there, is a, there is a one caveat, okay? And that caveat, that's a weird word for me to say, uh, is that, okay. So it, it basically boils down to what I'm good at, uh, what's the best use of my time, and how what makes me feel productive during the day, during the working day, right? So I structure my work days in a way where, you know, recording here in my studio is basically my like full-time thing, you know, like this is what creates value, but this is how I create value, right? I work with different brands. So I have a slightly different strategy than Medix Media. He is more, I feel he's more of a behind the scene kind of technical guy, like systems guy, you know, he has no problem managing people. He's like a manager, you know, okay. You need to be more of a manager to go that but approach. But he's also you know, a creator. Because, well, the thing is, yes, he is a creator. But the thing is, he is creating four videos a month. So that's like total maybe, I don't know, one or two hours of actual recording time. And then the rest of the time goes into, you know, managing people who edit the video, you know, doing this, yeah. doing that. For me, I thought about this very long and hard. I would hate that. I don't like managing people. I don't like hiring, going through Upwork, all that crap. I've been working with the same editor for like almost two years now because it's just easy. And, you know, he deals with my idiosyncratic behavior at times. And then, you know, I've been working with the same thumbnail artist for a very long time now as well. And and I create, for me, how I feel productive and best at use is when I record. You know, and it has to be the best quality, but it has to be good enough. And I'm always trying to improve it as well. But it needs to be a little bit more at volume, a little bit more at scale, you know, because not every video is going to hit, right? Not every video is going to rank. And I don't want to take the chance of making four videos a month, you know, for all of them to flop, for example. I'd rather make, you know. Yeah, but you will go more more broad than the topics you do right now then. You will go more in depth, probably. Yeah, but... I don't know. <clears throat> it just it just doesn't suit my yeah. doesn't suit what I'm good at. What about you? Why don't you go that approach? Invest a thousand dollars for a video and just compete with medics and central and uh well because I have uh, it's early. growing now. So my monthly revenue is growing now, so why change? That's the thing. But I've been thinking about it as well. I don't know, like it's, but it's just so difficult to because I don't, I'm, I don't want to fully record myself. Yeah. So then you need to pay a creator. You're yeah. paying them at least two hundred, two hundred fifty dollars per video. So you have much? like, I think so. If you want high quality scripted video, like 20, 30 minutes long, in depth. If you think about it this way, that's a lot, right? So if you take a student who has equipment or you lease equipment for him, for example. And then you can have him for, you know, full-time salary, basically. You pay him, let's say, $3,000 a month, which is like a very good salary, which is a good salary in most Western countries, except for America, because everything in America is very expensive. <laughs> expensive and <laughs> you guys have just too much money there. But you know what I mean? So then you, you hire him full-time, you sign an agreement, you lease the equipment if he doesn't have it, or maybe he does have it, better that he does. And then you say, okay... Your working day, realistically, like realistically, if a person does this full time and this thing only, he can make you 10 videos a day. Yeah, but what kind of videos? For five, like- day, for five days a week. So you can be getting you can be getting 200 videos a month, realistically, with two days off every weekend for about $3,000 a month, if you're willing to take that risk. Yeah, but I, then I would be looking at other v- type of videos. So I- like what? That- yeah, w- videos with with then I would target affiliate more because like if you ha- have have those kind of in depth tutorials like then I want him to be more s- scripting the videos, doing better yeah. edits, really focus on helping the viewer the best way possible, building yeah. trust with the viewer, 
then pointing them to, to multiple affiliate links. I think yeah. if you do it that way, you'll eventually make way more with affiliate marketing. You can also see with Metrics Media, like I think he's getting a half million views per month. Uh, but an affiliate is, is going crazy because he's able to get those quality views, like 500,000 quality views. Big brain. Yeah, so maybe it's worth a risk. Like I will certainly try it if I'm a little bit bigger, but now the approach I'm doing, it's still, uh, it's still working. Yeah. But I think, I think you need to work your way towards it. Yeah, but I think also hiring a, a full-time creator, um, like if you don't have a, have a, if you don't get paid per video, they can also say, yeah, yeah, but I'm still writing the script. Yeah, yeah, but I'm not focusing on a better storytelling. They don't, they don't need. They don't need to write anything. You have the same system. You have script writer. You yeah. have the no, creator. Yeah, you, yeah. Basically, basically, you, the only thing you would be changing is you would be changing the person who is recording the video. So instead of having you know, don't underestimate the power of a pretty face or just a face. It's extremely powerful without you even realizing it because it works on a subconscious level. Remember when, the, when we went to the seminar in Dubai, the guy, Dr. Herman, yeah, yeah. He, was showing, he was showing an ad from a website and they were basically testing where the eyes went. And they were doing like a heat map on a website. And there was like a, like a baby website was saying like something for babies. And by changing one image, their conversion rate basically jumped or something like so, something crazy. And just because they changed the position of the baby, it was like facing like behind it. And they changed yeah, the baby position. The baby like was the looking towards something. So then exactly. we, are, we, we want to see what the baby is looking at. And then it was text, for example, or a button. Yes, yeah, something like that. Yeah. So, so yeah. basically, human faces are extremely powerful. I, I agree. But in the end, I think I also want a creator who makes his own scripts because, because he will be more connected towards the storytelling, towards the explaining. Oh, shit. I don't know. Let's see. It's not relevant right now because I, I'm not hiring someone. I don't think that's important. I think if you have a good ass, if you have a good script, Anyone can read it out and it's fine. You don't need to have the creator create it himself. No, creator needs to be recording. That's his full-time job. And the script writer needs to be writing. That's her yeah. or his full-time job, period. It's like Adam Smith's, um, what are they called? The little things you use for sewing, you know, the, the needles. So Adam Smith, where do I have him? I have him here. I have him here as well. The Wealth of Nations, the economics classics. So he was talking about the division of labor and how that improves productivity and everything. If you have one guy making needles, you know, one guy can make like 20, 30, 40 needles a day, right? Yeah, if but that's you if have... you optimize for efficiency. What do you mean? That, that's the case if you want to optimize for efficiency, if you want to make as, as mo, like many videos as possible. But like if you want to, if if you do like the Metrics Media way, you want to have a quality video. I think your creator needs to be more connected to the story, to to engage more with the viewer. Maybe, would, but huh. it's then you're just. I think if you're lowering, if you're, <laughs> I don't I know. Feel like like, if you're, yeah. I feel like you are increasing your risk if you're going to be lowering your. Uh, production quantity because what you what what if you invest you know I don't know a thousand dollars for a video you know two fifty to creator two fifty to uh, or five hundred to the editor and then a crazy thumbnail or maybe five and then you know this stuff right what happens then if that video flops well you're yeah you would never waste one k you must, yeah well you would never would waste one k in the beginning like that, that's just stupid it's more of yeah. a next phase I think yeah but. I agree, but the thing is, I feel like the it's it's a disproportionate amount of risk for you know, it's like, what are the realistic chances that you're gonna rank for something like Shopify tutorial for beginners, even if you match Medix Media quality? There well, are like I think thirty. There are like thirty. There are like thirty videos like that, like like that. You know, like like him. Yeah, yeah, but you can already see like my Shopify videos. I think in total, maybe they got like 15,000 views. In total, all videos combined. And it already yeah. made me, I think in total, 6K, I think, Oof. 5K. That's, that's a lot. Yeah. <laughs> so, 
So what if you can like uh, get like get like Shopify tutorial videos? You, you won't hit number one, two, or three. Where you, you won't get like two, three hundred thousand views. But if your videos get like thirty k, forty k views, it could potentially already of like twenty or like fifteen k views. Let's say twenty k could potentially already be two to three thousand dollars. I would be very curious to see if you decide to go that experiment route. I need more money uh, because I, or, I, my channel needs or to be what, what you can do is you can take care of the, um, the script you want. So you can take care of the video editing you want. And then if you want, I can uh, record it for you. <laughs> no. no, really? No, but then I don't have, then I'm not building a, an asset. Then I'm not building a team. But then <laughs> you're going to be forever indebted to me all no, the money yeah, you make exactly. is gonna go first to gv marketing and then it's gonna go to vr maybe your maybe. face is like blocked by youtube <laughs> let's not rank this face too high <laughs> no Imagine, but uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like listed no but i i don't know for for a future approach i think it can be interesting like the the charlie chen guy he has a web uh, yeah. channel my first website and he's working with different creators as well. They all have the same background. Maybe it's green screen. He also has a channel called Startup Wise. Yeah, yeah, uh, that, that's true. Yeah, I've seen it as well. Yeah. It's all he pretty has interesting. Like, dude, Charlie is doing so well, man. He's just such a smart guy. Like, he records himself still, still but he ha he's working with a lot of people. But it's in-house. Yeah. yeah. Keep in mind. So, like, I think he lives in California. He has people come into the studio where they have like the, the office space and record at their sets, just like kind of, you know, deliverers or creators, let's put it that way. Yeah. Yeah, but that's worth it at that number, at those numbers. But he's yeah. also focusing on, like he focused on quality first with his main channel. Yeah. I recommend you follow Charlie on Instagram. Once in a while, he like yes. does a Q and A. Huh? I already follow him, like yesterday. Ah, let's so. go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But those are the heavy hitters, you know? It's all interesting, and uh, we, that's that's the whole uh, cl the takeaway here is you need to keep experimenting and uh, see what's working and what's not working. Yeah. yeah, it's it's a super interesting game. It's not like, yeah, it's it's not like you know we have all the answers and that like you know this is the right way to go about this. You know, like I really don't like that approach of, you know, like no, I but have we, the, we, oh, I, I have we, the ultimate answer to all your problems. You know, this is the way, this is the best business model. No. No, true. I but think, we we do can give some sort of certainty because we use the traffic uh, of the search strategy. Sure. But but nothing is black and white. I mean, like we, you and I, right, we are constantly improving. And when we are going to be looking back on this exact episode in 10 years, we're going to be thinking, oh my God, we were a, a little we're bit retired. Smart, but... but Oh, we were, we'll be retired. <laughs> no, but okay. Can we talk about retirement for a second? How do you see your retirement happening? Because I have this very interesting concept. I don't know if you read, have you read the four hour work week by Tim yeah, Ferriss? A long time ago. Okay. Yeah, me too. Do you remember what he talked about? Like the new rich and how he talked about like mini retirements? Like, like going, uh, take like mini sabbaticals or like what, what was it again? I don't know. Anymore. Like going to Thailand to do some Muay Thai. Yeah. <laughs> sounds familiar. <laughs> exactly so like a minute a lot of people it's like warren buffett talks about they're saving up sex for old age probably not I, the best i idea. hate i don't like retirement of course because you the whole it, the idea that you need to work till you're 50 or 60 then you're old you're not like a uh, vital anymore you don't you're no don't have full energy like yeah. why then, then enjoy you life? get to enjoy your life yeah plus um i'm i'm sure I've, i'm i'm convinced that you always need some sort of purpose in life like even if mm. you're retired you need to have to do something like if you don't have anything going on in your life your your mind your body is like yeah i don't need to do anything i'll just uh die you you'll probably die sooner like i'm convinced of that because you don't have anything going for yourself you have no oh, energy dude, going through your life yeah I think they even did like a study of people who, you know, had like lost the meaning or purpose in their life. And, and they basically die much sooner than the people who have some kind of a striving or drive or meaning behind it. You know, whatever it is, work, family. But I 100% agree with you. This whole idea of like, I'm going to be working my whole life for this corporation just so I can have, you know, a pension. And then I'm going to, and then I'm finally going to enjoy my life. Oh. Yeah. Sounds like a nightmare to me. <laughs> I'd rather enjoy my life now when I'm young, hustle, make money, stay sober, you know, <laughs> try to like discipline. Stay sober. <laughs> okay, not all the time, I mean, but sometimes, like, I mean, most Look, of the times, right? <laughs> yeah, okay. 
Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Until you go to London. Yeah. yeah, at least I'm not lying like other guy. Oh, you got to go monk mode. Monk Dude, mode, you've bro. been going monk mode in, in your closet, over your, your room. <laughs> You're just working there whole day. Yeah. You are a monk yeah, mode yeah. already. I know, but I take my retreats, you know, once in a while. Yeah. And I'm not going to be sitting Sober. here pretend... Pre no, I don't know. Retreats are, <laughs> retreats are not sober, okay? Retreats involve a little bit of this and that. No, no, but what I'm saying is I don't lie and pretend that I'm, you know, I don't jerk off, I don't drink, I don't smoke, I don't do this and that and blah, blah, blah. What kind of a fucking shit life is that? And all those... You, <laughs> but you just those, said you're sober. <laughs> that's not true always. But it's also not no, needed because you need... An, what do you uh, mean? What do you mean? Now you said it's something like, no, it's not needed. But you you were saying that you, you're you just sober, you're working. I don't know what you said anymore. I don't remember. But <laughs> in the end, you also need to enjoy life a little. And uh, you don't need to wait till retirement. I agree. Yeah, no, 100%. Be careful who you listen to. Don't try, if you're like 18 years old or something. But the thing is, the people who listen to us are mostly like 25 to 35 years old. So you guys already know what's up. You know, you, yeah. you, you don't need to listen to, you know, oh, you should be drinking or not drinking or this or that and like that. What yeah, you need to be doing is, you know, you don't need to be working your ass off every single day for someone else just so you can put food for your family, provide for your family. And then one day, if you're still alive by then, then you can, you know, enjoy and do the things that you actually want to do with life. If exactly. that's if that's you right now, well, I'm sorry to say, but that kind of sucks. Well, it's it's good. fine. It's fine to be in for a while, but at least have a plan where you want to go to and and, and follow that plan. The good thing there is hope. Okay, yeah. and the best plan, the best the best sign of planet tree was ten years ago. The second uh, best sign of planet tree is now. If you didn't start that business ten years ago, yeah. You took an L, a big L, right? And you've like, wasted a lot of time. But not, but not all hope is lost. You can start now again. And if you start now, in the next couple of years, you can be well on your way to you know, financial freedom where you can provide for your family and enjoy the things you like without having to wait until you know, retirement. Oof. Yeah. Wow. Nice ending. Motivational words. Yeah. This it came came deep from my soul. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I noticed. Yeah, uh, but a good episode, I think. We covered a lot of stuff. Yeah. All right. A lot of awesome. stuff. Awesome. Yeah. Thanks, Ron. Bye, uh, people. Thanks for listening. Bye. 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 -bye. Bye, -bye. <laughs>